الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد إيمان أيها الأحبة and the sweetness of faith is something the believer desires and we should all desire the sweetness, this taste of Iman and we should all detest losing Iman and this is part of the sweetness of Iman is to detest going, uh, to have tasted Islam and to hate to return to disbelief and in a narration of our Salaf Qala Hassan al-Basri Rahimahullah Ta'ala تفقد الحلاوة في ثلاثة الأشياء في صلاة وفي ذكر وقراءة القرآن فإن وجدتم وإلا فاعلموا أن الباب مغلق إمام حسن البصري رحمه الله تعالى said that the sweetness is lost you can lose the sweetness in three things in your prayer in salat in dhikr and in reading the quran so you will either find them or know that the door is closed وقال بعد السلف ما ابتدع أحد بدعة إلا نزيت حلاوة الحديث من قلبه. So some of the salaf said that a person does not commit a bid'ah, an innovation in, in, in the religion, except that the sweetness of hadith is removed from their hearts. So this is the fear of the mu'min that the sweetness of iman remains with them that they desire ilm and they desire to practice ilm Qala Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُعَجِّلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ مِنَ الرَّحْمَةِ فِي قَلُوبِهِمْ وَغَيْرِهَا بِمَا يَجِدُونَهُ مِنْ حَلَاوَةِ الْإِيمَانِ وَيَذُوقُونَهُ مِنْ طَعَامِهِ وَإِنْشِرَى صُدُورِهِمْ لِلْإِسْلَامِ إِلَى غَيْرِ ذَلَكَ مِنَ الصُّرُورِ بِالْإِيمَانِ وَالْعِلْمِ النَّافِعِ وَعَمَلَ الصَّالِحِ بِمَا لَا يُمْكِنْ وَصْفُهُ Shaykh al-Islam said that verily Allah the Almighty gives to the believers mercy in their hearts and other than that from the sweetness of Iman and tasting it and its flavor or taste and the opening of the hearts to Islam to other than that from happiness with Iman and beneficial knowledge and righteous deeds which it's not possible to describe this shows us the state of the believer again the love for Iman and that it's a mercy from Allah to have Iman and an open heart and to taste the sweetness of faith and to be happy with Iman and beneficial knowledge and righteous deeds all of those things combine to increase our Iman and we ask Allah by all of his divine names and attributes to bless us to be of Ahli Iman. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.